and we're back for another episode of How Not to Play Monster Hunter World. Um, our last episode did go kind of long. We only got one uh, quest in, in the entire stream. So uh, things are getting kind of longer uh, for the YouTube. So I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more editing. Anyway, our general disclaimers still stand. This game does contain lots of graphic violence as we are going around killing things. And these things are also killing me, which may lead to bouts of strong language. So, without further ado, let's get into the fun. Hey, partner. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great Ravine. I'll tag along. Actually, if I remember right, I think we've got all of our optional quests done. And we might actually be on our way to the Great Ravine. So that would be... Probably where we're heading. Do, 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 do. I don't see any more exclamation marks in town, so yeah, let's uh, probably go ahead on and do that. So to go on an expedition, we'll head right on out the main gate. And now we have the Great Ravine open to us since we uh, had Zora Magdros blaze a trail. Great! We made it! Let's start by finding a way forward. Yeah, I remember how to move. So. Weird place for a tooltip. Alright. So this is the uh, ravine where we fought Zora Magdros. We can talk to all these people. We head this way. And she's going to run on up ahead. This is where he went through. Jeez. It's kind of disorienting to look down there, huh? Magdros went straight through. We didn't even slow it down. I'm well, guessing it's a freaking something mountain. pretty important on the other side. How are you going to slow down a mountain? Did, I mean, you guys honestly thought that little plan was going to work? Look at this massive fissure it made. This, this is the power of an elder dragon. No way! Everybody's freaking out over how big this thing is, like they didn't realize it. I don't know. Be careful not to fall here. Can I fall? No. Nope. Couldn't fall if I wanted to. Think we're getting close? Close to what, though? Of 
Coral Highlands. <laughs> Race you down there. <laughs> Now we're in research base. Huh. You awake? I don't know where we are. I'm standing here and you're asking if I'm awake. Really? Are you okay? Hmm. Found the third fleet. For some reason I get a, uh, like one of those posh British accents from her, just in my head canon. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Of course it's a good idea. I came up with it. Hmm. Dealy for me. Hey there. The Elder Melder. Defense charm. Charms are pieces of gear that can activate skills. Only one can be equipped at a time, created by forging equipment, and some can be upgraded. Neat. So it's basically an extra piece of gear that doesn't really offer defense, but does give you a skill 
boost, so skills are always nice. Let's see. We can kind of explore the research base a little bit. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot here, honestly. Visions. This could be an item shop. Yep, this is the item shop. Alright. Oh, there's another rascal. So that's gonna be my item box. Ooh, I've got a lot of junk in here, don't I? Rid of some of this junk in my trunk. Uh, looks like I need a shock trap. And I think I used. Yep, there's an ancient potion. Alright. Don't need that. We'll throw that in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there too. I don't really use the screamer pods. Um. Yep. Can I make any more max potions? One, because I have a mandragora. Eh. I need to find some more mandragora. Alright, so now from our research base, we can explore the Coral Highlands. And we have no idea what's out there, so this ought to be fun. Oh yeah! A monster known as Sitsuyaku inhabits these parts. Nothing can stop us! Well, right. Let's look for a good campsite. All right. Hmm. So I'm looking for signs of a tsitsiyaku and a campsite. Looks like I can hit circle to jump down and completely negate all the fall damage because there is none in this game. Snow herb uses creates ice ammo. Okay. Hey, look, there's Kildees down here. Ooh, there's a print. Ooh. Interesting. What you got over here, little scout fly? Ooh, rocks. Yes. Need rocks. Kelby horn? No Kelby horn. Footprints, red pits. Looks like those footprints are headed this way. Ooh, bone pile. Coral bone. That's a new bone. What's that guy? It looks like the uh, Jagras.
So yeah, those are more small monsters, kind of like the Jagras. They're called Seamus, it looks like. I apologize to anybody out there with the name of Seamus. I will not be coming to hunt you. And I will not be hitting you for your hide. But apparently in this game, I need to kill Seamus. Well, I guess I don't need to, but I mean... Where are my scout flies growing up here? There's more of those Seamus. That's Tsitsuyaku. Looks like he's got a uh, nice little blinder attack. Hmm. Oh, Seamus. Kicking ass on the little guys. Making me feel better about myself. I'm still not sure if I should go after that Tsitsuyaku or if I should go see where he came from. Eh, I'm already pointed this way. Let's go. It says search for campsite, not hunt Tsitsuyaku, so we'll we'll go the opposite way. Of course, I have no idea where I'm going. Is there a buck over here? Ooh, flash bugs, yes. Flash pod. Where am I going? This was like a good camp spot. No? Another flash bug. Heck yeah. Bone pile. Oh, is this a monster den? Yeesh. So if this is a monster den. We just saw that Tsitsuyaku come from here. Is this the Tsitsuyaku's monster den? we'll find out if we hang around here too long. In that case, it might not be a very good campsite. We don't want to camp with a Tsitsuyaku. I mean, not that I really have a problem with that, but he might have a problem with us. You know, him being a monster and me being a monster hunter would kind of put a damper on our relationship. Tsitsiyaku gashes. Hello, Shameless. Ooh. 
Ooh, knocked him right off the edge. Oh boy, now there's four. These things just keep multiplying. Now there's four of them. Oh, he just knocked me right off the edge. Well, I guess turnabout's fair play. <laughs> Come on, you little bastard, die for me. Oh god. I didn't know there was one of you still alive. There we go. There's a lot of Zitsuyaku footprints around here. I haven't been up this way then. Alright, let's go. Shameless parts, because I'm sure I'm going to need them for something. We found a few new bone types, so let's see if I can harvest a couple more of them. I'm sure I'm going to need them for something. Thunderbug. Tsuyaku's up there. So let's try going this way. Said so I don't want to go. If I'm looking for this campsite, it's not going to be somewhere where monsters travel a lot. It's going to be somewhere kind of out of the way. So we'll go the way that Tsuyaku didn't go and see if. That's where our campsite's going to be. Oh, never mind. I went the wrong way. You, you just keep on going, and I'll... We'll just agree to disagree. You want some of this? That's what I thought. growling at me. Ooh, mining. Iron, iron, iron. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, bigger wasps. So, uh, I'm guessing this is a battleground. Judging by all of the random plant life around here that does different battle things. There's another mining outcrop. Ooh, Dragonite and Coral Crystal. Alright. I needed a source of Dragonite ore. I am happy with that. We gotta find out where this campsite that she wants is. Is it on here anywhere, maybe? 
não. Oh, shameless for being annoying. Alright, I was gonna let you live. You went and you attacked me from behind, so... You and your buddy. Look, y'all need to back off, alright? There's heaps more and more. There's five of them this time, which I just killed plus the three that came up afterwards. Sand people. Well, he'll be back and in greater numbers. Oh, come on, how is he not dead yet? My durability is shit. That's how he's not dead yet. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and sharpen this up a little bit. Alright, now, where was I? I was seeing what's through here. It says I can jump down. Alright. What's down? Nope, can't go back up. Where's this go? This looks like a nice out of the way place to make a uh, campsite, yeah? A lot of ammo plants here. Woo! Looks makes me, almost makes me wish I'd uh, picked a bow gun. Whoa! Why'd you jump that way? There we go. Bone pile. Sturdy bones, coral bones. All right. Uh, how do I get back on the rope? There we go. I don't know where I'm going. I'm completely lost. Alright. Well, we made it back up to where we started. And yep, there's more Seamus. Oh, there's a flashbug there I just slid right past. See Tsuyaki coming up behind me.
I have no idea where this campsite is that she wants me to find. So I guess we'll just explore for a while. Oh, it's all the way down there. Eh, I'm not going to jump down for a bone pile. Wow, what an incredible ecosystem. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anyone? Come on, let's go exploring. What do you think I'm doing? So the Tsuchiyaku eat these guys. Ooh. He hit circle to hook onto him. Then he's gonna fly me around, huh? that I remember this place oh hello must be the big around these parts Accidentally shot him down. I'm sure he's going to at me. places that might be a good campsite when I'm in the middle of a battle. I'm trying to fucking survive here and you're like, oh hey, here's a campsite. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I have like all kinds of frozen. Well? He's not there. Doing something. Woo! I just have that one fail. Ah, that one hit me, I'm pretty sure. Man! My my hook claw just pitch onto everything but him. I think it's because there's all those wing drakes around. I can't get a good beat on Whatever this guy is. Dude, I'm trying to heal here. Leave me alone. Man. 
man, there's just nothing here to run him into. This place is too open. Hit me with that boss attack. All right. Now the fucker's leaving me alone. All I wanted to do was down some of these guys and gather their hides. I didn't want to fight whatever that thing is. Rafinos. All right. We'll gather a couple Rafinos hide. Gotta be careful to uh, not piss off that Tsukiyaku that's over there somewhere. You can see him on my mini map. interesting. He hunts them the same way I do. He uses his little flash blinder attack to knock them out of the sky and then he just chomps on them. That's interesting. Dang, he's just like flopping around all over the place. I know I'm not hitting you that hard. Come on, stop being such a drama queen. Alright, so, while I was in the middle of dying, she said that she found some uh, campsites. So, right about there. Wherever that happens to be. Looks like that thing's flying around it. But my scout flies say it should be on this way, so we'll follow the scout flies. guys leading me. Legiana Gashes. Oh, there's my quest marker. Alrighty, so those of you who are tuning into the video and want to find out where the heck this campsite is. It is right up here. So you start off down here, 
You jump off there, you go up around in here. You take the right fork on up to here where you go up in here into this little area and then up there. All right. And by the mini map it looks like that uh I guess it's a Legiana is over that way, so yeah, let's let's just uh get into this camp here. I'm not worried about that guy. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? All right, so our next uh, objective is to go back to the research base. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we've got some research on Tsutsuyaku and Lagiana. Let's go ahead back to the world map and head back to our research base. And that'll finish our expedition. No special rewards. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I should have gotten something for a broken Lagiana wing. Oh well. Yep, we learned some stuff on Tsutsuyaku. Oh, that guy looks familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Yo. Oops. Want to get going? I got a glider mantle. Team leader, third seat master. Well, that's the airship engineer, huh? Yep. From before. So they're going to attach materials from this Palumu to uh, make this research base fly and convert into an airship. Awesome. All I have to do is kill it. And it said that I could visit the smithy, which is gonna be this one right here. What's up? So here we can forge and upgrade our equipment. We can actually forge charms now. Uh, we've got our defense charm right now, which adds a defense boost skill. There's a bunch of other charms. Um, yeah, like seriously. We'll probably look at some of those later, but I don't know. Uh, what new kind of armors did we find? 
Oh, I need more shameless scale. Uh, let's go ahead. Nope. Oh, you don't get the cutscene with this guy. Oh, I still need those three Raytheon pieces. So I really didn't learn a whole lot. I need to... What's Detector do? Marks rare sights on the wildlife map. Alright. I can see how that would be useful. No, I'm not going to want to forge. I'm going to want to upgrade weapons. No, can't upgrade anything yet. Alright. Still don't know what those are. Toby Kodachi Claw and a Coral Crystal. Might have to go rehunt the Toby Kodachi for a couple claws now that I've got access to coral crystals. That might not be a bad idea. Alright, the only other exclamation mark is you then? The resource what center. Uh, this is where I complete my bounties and manage investigations. So let's register for another couple bounties for a bird. Uh, oh, just any investigation? Okay, I'll be going on a couple of those here pretty soon. Um, on let's go world. ahead, manage a couple, why not? Uh, let's see, I am going to want a Toby Kodachi for that one, right? Yeah, we'll go ahead and add that one on there. Um, I don't have any investigations for that Raffian, do I? Oh well. Jeez, it's almost been an hour again. My time flies when you're just doing open-ended expeditions, huh? Alright, well, I guess that's where I'm going to call it then. Um, anyway, we'll go ahead and sign off. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll catch you on the next mission, where I guess we'll be hunting a Palomo to get a balloon. I don't know. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, we will see you next time.